Yeah, so thanks, thanks for your time. Pleasure. So we've got Michael Noonan here, who is uh, in final of Chop Fest for the old Mexican child. Sorry, Mexico. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's the only one of the only film to be shot outside of Australia. Yes. In the 16. Yes, I think it's the only international entry, and it was a full Mexican crew. Mm. I was the only Australian. Yeah. But all the crew, all the cast. So you don't, you don't look very Mexican. No. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm the whitest person in Mexico. Yes, and in the crew is... Yeah, but they are, the Mexican crew and cast are incredible. Like really hard working, yeah. very uh, ambitious, and just, uh, just eager to make things. Without money, without any Full reward. Passion. They just, yeah, very, very similar to Australian mm. independent filmmakers because they're very... Um, the industry is not huge for Mexico, the film industry. Yeah. So they're very similar in terms of they just want to keep making things and build their showreels, mm -hmm. and and they're just keen to work with with international filmmakers. And so they, mm -hmm. when I wanted to make the film, they were like, "We love it. We want to do it." Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that was your second uh, film shot in Mexico. Yes, yes, I shot one before. It was called Remote. It was mm -hmm. in Tropfest. Yeah, it was already in final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was much shorter. We only shot that time. That was only like one day. Half a day shooting mm. uh, in the desert in a place called Mina. In the, it's kind of a scary right. a drug dealing area, so it was a bit dangerous. We had police escorts, mm. but this time was much closer to the city in a place called Westeca, mm. and we shot for two full days. So it was much longer, much more dialogue, and much more uh, the story is a bit sort of a bit more, much more substance than remote. It was a bit kind of a gag film, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the deal with the Mexico? You, you happen to do you know Mexican? You've been there before? Why no, two no. movies in Mexico? Yeah, you no, know, I work there. I work at a university. I teach film yeah, okay. teach at a university. It's not. It's maybe two hours. So it's your second home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, and it's it's a good place. It's I mean it's not uh, it's not completely safe, but it's much safer than it was you know three years mm -hmm. ago when I before I arrived. There was a lot of violence, but now it's it's two hours from the Texas border. Yeah. Drive so it's uh, but but the, the, it's mountains all around so you can any way you shoot is mm. spectacular like you just have to point the camera and it's amazing yeah. so for me the two films so far has been like so you, wow. you say you were in Mexico even during the, the development of the project yes so you could yes. do the you could do the casting yes. over there on location yes so I, I the first step is I wrote the script. Um, I actually met the I met uh, the mother of the boy who's the main actor. Right. I met her in a restaurant. She was a waitress, and we started talking. And she said, "Oh, um, we should become Facebook friends." And so we did. Okay. And then uh, she was not an actress. Uh, no, actress. no, she's not an actress. No, mm -hmm. but uh, then on, on she sent me she showed me some photos of her son, mm -hmm. her young son, yeah. you know, who's Max. His name's Maximo, but Max, and he's like got a really funny. Just just face. on the on the picture. Yeah, you knew it was him. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I just just could tell his his photos are really like cinematic, and he just had this look. His interactions in photos, yeah. he just had this amazing look of like he just kind of looked spooky and evil, and mm. but he kind of had an attitude, and I, just, I thought, oh, he'd be perfect for a film. Mm. So then, I didn't really have an idea for anything for a script. So then maybe a year later, I I thought, oh, I want to film in Huasteca, which is the mountain area, and I, I want to use that kid. Mm. So the script sort of came together. I thought, oh, maybe it's like a couple find this kid in the desert and then and then it kind of developed and then I just messaged her and said oh um, I remember you showed me photos of your son one year later yeah yeah, yeah right around about a year and then yeah. uh, I mean kept in contact like I saw mm. her but then I said oh can we uh, I really want to use him in a film like it's mm. like a silly horror kind of thing and it's two days of filming and uh, so what and silly horror movie are you <laughs> kidding me <laughs> and she speaks no english so i had to sort of explain without sounding weird like i want to use your son in a movie yeah. so uh, any advice for the directors because you did actually four final of trope fest yeah this is my, fifth, this is my fifth. fifth one yeah. you're uh, the biggest nominated <laughs> one yeah so this is it. this is this yeah. year this is fifth yeah yeah so it's uh it's happening yeah they were, well yeah so 2006 On sunday so, yeah, yeah, and I think I definitely think that my films have got better. Like my first was a comedy in two thousand six, yeah, and I've definitely learned by being there because it's, it's it's I think it, I think it's it's different to to when you're there and you see what plays well in front of an audience. Yeah. And so I've learned. I think I've learned that better. Like my last one was a gag film. It was just it was sort of a joke film, 
and that was okay. I played okay, but photo booth before that, which was kind of a thriller and a war kind of drama, played yeah. really well. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, publicity. Yeah, yeah. So I think, um, I think the films, in my opinion, of mine that have worked better have had, have had a, an engaging story that's really simple but mm -hmm. has a good payoff and. I think even Mexican Child has has that. It's kind of funny, but it's stuff happens and there's a bit of a mystery as it goes. So you, mm. and it's not hard to understand. It's, it's in Spanish, but it's subtitled. There's not much dialogue, but it's visual. I think the key mm. for Drop First, in my opinion, is it's got to be the things that work because mm. it's such a massive crowd of people with limited uh, attention. attention. Yeah, yeah, you need to make it something that visual and and tells a story and works as a story with something not necessarily a twist but a bit of something at the end that gives people mm. satisfaction um, and I think mine that have worked the best have been have been that so yeah but I'm still learning you're always learning you never stop so hopefully I'll keep entering and that's the passion keep on learning well yes. good, good luck for this year yeah you thank you definitely have the, the visual and the story so yeah thank you, you. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Yes, a pleasure. See you on Sunday. Yes. See you guys on Sunday as well. Thank you. Thanks.